guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're back with some home content for you guys I have my husband Kent here and we're going to be sharing our room transformation with you all I have been getting so many requests for home decor content ever since I kind of teased it a little bit on my Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram please make sure you do at Joy Vaughn and let's just go ahead and jump into this video. So what we're working with is a small to a medium sized bedroom that we use for multiple purposes. Like it, it's obviously our bedroom, but it also serves as an entertainment space. It also serves as an office space. Like it's We everything. live in here. Yeah, it's like literally. We pretty much live in here. Yeah, literally everything happens here. So, with that being said, we kind of try to configure the room in multiple different ways to see like how we can maximize the space. Pretty much as far as the overall theme or like style of the room that we wanted to go for too is very much like a boho chic, I guess you would say. That's like our overall yeah. whole style, like mm -hmm. just in general. So of course we wanted our room to kind of like play off of our personal style. Right. If you saw our last video, which was some years ago, like two years ago, two and a half. If like you that. saw our last uh, living room tour video, then you would know, or you might recognize some of the things that you'll see right. in this room. quick vision of what we're looking to do in the future. Um, starting with our bed, um, we want a platform bed. I've always wanted a platform bed. Like ever since I knew of their existence, it was like, nah, that's the one. Like it's just something about having something that I don't need box springs for. I'm with it. <laughs> so um, want a platform bed. Also want to uh, do some DIY stuff like some shelving to go above the bed. Um, also, there's this atrocious AC unit that was like built into the wall. I don't understand why it's there. It's literally, we've thought about taking it out, but it seems like it would be more work to take it out than yeah. to just cover it. So he has some like plans to just like. Yeah, I just want to build a wooden box to just cover it, tie it with the shelving and stuff like that. So we want to restore her, her desk that she's been using. Uh, yes. bring that back to life so the desk is another part of our room that i'm trying to figure out because right now it's fine like we have a cute little like cork board up there we have like some you know decor that's already there that was previously in our living room but now i want to I want it to be functional because it is a desk it is my workspace i do have like my area of makeup where I store my things, but here's a few inspiration photos of kind of like the boho chic desk office, small office vibe that I'm trying to achieve. And also too, we have a cubby in our room as you guys saw, and we kind of want to do like a gallery wall. So Kent was talking about the fact that he's um, interested in doing like a box with shelving and stuff like that for the AC unit to cover it up. I also too want to work on a little bit of a gallery wall. I feel like that would be like a cute way to just bring some life <laughs> to the room and like to the wall. So we've been able to 
start with a few things already. Um, we took some time to work on this wardrobe closet that we had. Yes. Um, it originally started off just straight black with this like glossy finish. I don't know what the material was. I have no idea. I just know that it's really old. It's actually a hand-me-down. It was my grandmother's and we completely wanted to transform it because yeah it just it didn't it didn't fit with what what we wanted yeah to do. no so originally in my mind i knew that i wanted the wardrobe to be gray and when i brought it up to kent he was really down for you know the vibe so we decided to also do gold fixtures on it so a cost efficient way to do this especially now in the middle of quarantine and corona and everything we decided to just go ahead and spray paint it so we went to our local home depot and we picked up some paint and we went in the backyard and we just completely spray painted it so this is the spray paint that we're using this is the rustoleum painter's touch two times ultra cover paint and primer we got the color granite and it's a satin finish to do a second coat on top of it but we have our second can now hopefully we don't need a third can but I still have to spray the handles and stuff gold all right you guys so we're back home and this is how it's looking so far we went back to Home Depot to get another can of spray paint because the two wasn't enough for like the drawers. Um, but when we went back, they didn't have the exact color. So we got, oh, we got this one instead. This is, this one is still Rust-Oleum, but um, we got the Coastal Gray. It's also a satin finish, um, so I don't know. Hopefully it matches well enough that you won't be able to tell, but you can see the gold handles over there looking great. Kent just sprayed the um, finishing spray on it, so we are getting ready to test this out. It's a little lighter, but it's not like dramatic. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it'll be okay. What do you think? I'm excited. wasn't expensive at all. I don't even know how much the spray paint was at this point. Was it like six dollars maybe? Like a no, can? No, I don't even think it was six dollars a can. It was probably like about four dollars. Yeah, so it was really cost efficient. We wound up using about three cans, like three cans or something yeah. like that. Um, and then after we brought it up here, we really loved how it looked and we wanted to spruce up our mini fridge because we also have a mini fridge in here so a little bit of a background on the mini fridge i've had this mini fridge since college 
And I don't know about you guys, but if you were previously a college student, <laughs> then you kind of like accumulate these things that is just kind of unnecessary, but right. you get used to it. So then it becomes like a necessity for you. So in our room, like I said, we spend a lot of time in here and it's just really easy for us to have a mini fridge. Honestly, I feel like in our future home, we'll probably have like a built in like mini fridge and whatever type of like living space that we have or like a wine fridge or something like that just because it's just so convenient to have something like that that you know is just nearby yeah absolutely So since we started kind of, you know, sprucing up our room a bit and transforming it, we decided to get a couple of different pieces. So we got this round mirror from Hobby Lobby actually, and we got it on sale. I absolutely love this mirror. I wanted a round mirror so bad and I wanted a gold one and they're so expensive typically, like they're really, really expensive. So I'm so happy that I was able to catch a sale on this. I will try and link everything that I can that we're talking about in the description box down below for you guys if you're interested. Also too, we decided to change our bedding. So as you can see in the before clip, we did have like a totally different bedding on here. It was like a white um, linen I don't even know what it was <laughs> but we had that and we decided to change it to more of a like rusty brown toned duvet we got this from urban outfitters I was literally eyeing this thing for months on end like I wanted it so bad um, so we did that and then we also got some dark brown satin sheets from Target so all of these like little changes made really completely changed the room for us i feel like like i feel like it totally like just changed the vibe in here so we really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video um stay tuned for more projects uh, more videos you know we're gonna work on this office space yes um get some curtains and just a whole lot of different diy projects this gallery wall mm -hmm. like yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more. Follow both of us on Instagram, me at Joyne Vaughn and him at True Artistry. I will leave some graphics down below for you guys to check out. And don't forget to check the description box, like I said, if you are interested in finding anything that we talked about today. Leave a comment down below if you guys also have any suggestions for like anything that we should do in here maybe you know open our minds up to something that we're not currently thinking about that you know that you think we might like um we're definitely open to that and until then i will just see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>